Welcome back to week three action here in the gaming arena in NJCAA competition. We are getting ready to stream Call of Duty Warzone duos as our Red Hawk Hermanos, JD, and Hector will try to go to 3-0 and on the season. They got a tough test tonight in a Shelton State team that is also 2-0. and uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors. See them on the screen. Corporate Armor at Temprano Tech Vester Company. Appreciate Luke Walling and his team sponsoring our eSports program. Also, uh, the folks at Respawn, exclamation point, Respawn. If you need a gaming desk or chair, uh, be sure to buy that. It's from a local uh, nearby uh, organization here in North Carolina. Uh, support them. And also Red Fox Gaming, exclamation point, Red Fox. Uh, they're a great local video game-owned store. Um, Spencer and his group do a great job. Go into there, buy something, tell the tell them that the CVCC Sports team sent you, and support local businesses uh, that are supporting our student athletes here at CVCC. So again, I mentioned the matchup here tonight: Catawba Valley versus Shelton State. Uh, I think Shelton State is the Pirates, if I'm not mistaken. If you're a Shelton State fan in stream, uh, apologies for butchering that. If that's the wrong thing, but uh, we will get into that and. Um, Get into some COD Warzone. Red Hawk Hermano is going to try to do their thing and uh, see if they can keep the momentum going. Best two out of three tonight. So kill races. You'll load in as a duo. So two from one school, two from another. Make a foursome. And whoever uh, gets the most eliminations in each game will win that game. And it's best two out of three here tonight. We also have uh, Cody and Colin playing an intramural Warzone. We'll try to keep you posted on how they do as well. Um, they'll, they'll be queuing in here momentarily. Also, their opponent unknown at this point, but we'll try to let you all know if we hear anything. But, yeah, we'll get into the action and the competition here tonight. I'm going to try to switch this over to COD Warzone. I'm going to not – I'll see. I'll turn the face cam on. Why not? But we'll get this started here momentarily. Hearing any game audio from the Hermanos. Oh, I am now. Never mind. All right, here we go. I believe they're loading into their first game. So most eliminations count. So if a, if a team is eliminated out of the game, they don't have any gulags left. Of course, gulag is basically your second life or second chance at a life. Uh, if you lose your gulag, um, both teams lose their gulag and can't get back in, then uh, it will be ball game. Warm up while you can. We will deploy soon. We'll see how Hector and JD do here. This is a little pre round. Hector and JD did very well last semester. Uh, got to the playoffs, unfortunately, couldn't win. So you see him there. The, well, you can't see him in the bottom screen because of my cam, but it looks like Spent Elite and Noob Slayer are the two players for Shelton State. And of course, Our Hector and JD the are the Watch two the players for, for the Red Hawks. The war zone. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. If anybody's in here, spam those Hector emotes. You got them in chat. The heck hyper emotes. I love them. As you see, JD and Hector. Five seconds, stand by. The player has a skin that looks like they're on fire. That's a really interesting choice. I feel like that kind of. I like that kind of uh, as a disadvantage because you're, you're flammable. You look like your people can see you, but I don't believe that's one of our players. I think that was Spin Elite for Shelton State. But I'll just kind of making a game plan of where they want to go. Of course, the, the duos can, or the team can drop together and kind of you can kill still from each other. Um, it looks like Hector and JD are. Trying to fly away, and it looks like these two from Shelton State are actually staying in tow. JD and Hector landing first on top of this building. Target. 
looks like the Shelton State duo are going to go by themselves. So, of course, here early it's kind of a, a disadvantage, really, to go away from each other because both all these squads will have four teams, and so you don't want to lose that gulag early. I'm sure, both of these teams are very skilled at being two and zero on the season, so. They are, they're probably going to do very well in the gulags. You just never know, though. The only thing I don't like about this format is you can play with any pro player in these lobbies. You can play with any streamer in these lobbies. You can play with a five-year-old kid in these lobbies. I mean, it's you just never know what you're going to get. But hopefully the Red Hawks can take out Shelton State tonight and go 3-0 on the season. So at the top right there, you can see there are 143 players. Excuse me. Uh, still in the lobby. 36 squads. Or 38 squads, excuse me. Red Hawks trying to gather up the materials as best they can here. For other teams, of course, hear that heavy that heavy sound. That is a uh, those are uh, loot boxes that you can upgrade your weaponry. It's all randomized. So UAV deployed. Red Hawks trying to get some intel. They're gonna get a buy station. Looks like they're gonna buy some weaponry. Hector getting an attack. Level 297. That is impressive. I I think I'm like 40 something. So my man Hector been playing a lot of Call of Duty. And this game just came out in November as well. So. Slayer looked like he's marking some danger. Those players are away from our Red Hawks. Of course, this will be Hector's final semester. Got his eyes on a few colleges uh, has been offered. Just took a recent visit to Cumberland in Tennessee. Really enjoyed his time there, Coach Claypool. So we'll see maybe if uh, Hector ends up at Cumberland. And also had another player, Bailey Patterson over here, took his visit along with Hector. He's with Valorant. Has yet to make kind of his college decision, but got a bunch of players that are gonna be playing at the next level for uh, the Red Hawks, which is really exciting. At the end of the day, that, that's what we should be doing is trying to make sure our students are getting on to the next level, growing educationally, professionally. Hector's certainly done that. He's a back-to-back all-academic. Oh, as Noob Slayer goes down. Some of your team is so still Noob Slayer the going to the Gulag. Your squad mate is in the Gulag now. Off of the rip they survive, here. They redeploy. Of course, you can also buy your teammates back as well if they lose their Gulag. So we'll see if Noob Slayer is able to win their Gulag. JD and Hector still... Uh, Trying to do their thing. Gas mask. Hector picks up a gas mask there. Many thanks. And says thank you. Isn't that polite? In a very violent game, I guess you can still be <laughs> still be polite to one another. The only bad thing about this is teams that ping each other, or this team, if they ping anything on the map, their two opponents that are they're loaded in with are going to see exactly what they're going to do. Maybe a strategy, maybe a buy station, maybe. Squad mates have to for redeployment. And looks like Noob Slayer won his gulag, so. It's like Hector and 
JD. Seeing some enemy movement. As JD's gonna go down, unfortunately. So JD is dead. Hector is gonna get a kill though. UAV has been popped by the enemy team. So JD loses or gets eliminated. So both teams have lost somebody. And they both have an elimination. If JD was, wins his gulag, well, Red Ox, I believe, will be up 2 1. And Spent Elite is actually deploying right now. Well, I actually just finished deploying. Probably has returned to Noob Slayer from Shelton well, State. Looks like JD just won his Gulag, so Red Hawk's now with two eliminations. Good news is he'll be able to swoop in, probably pick up all of his weaponry. down there and there's a kill for Hector as really that was good timing there for CVCC they were able to oh a noob slayer down for Shelton State now JD also down Good elimination for Hector. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. It's kind of pinned here though, unfortunately. Oh, and Hector's going to go down. So Red Hawks need to win this gulag here. Is the elimination so gulag victory for Hector Red Hawks remaining alive in this game it's like Noob Slayer also redeploying Hector trying to figure out where he's gonna go he's got some cash want to try to get to a loadout drop to try to get JD back but it's not it's not urgent though I believe he might try to hit this train here he is. He's overhead. He's trying to hop in the train. There we go. Moving. He's gonna find a Lodi. Believe he has enough to buy JD. This is always a dangerous situation though because these loadout drops are kind of out in the open. Yeah. Teammates can, or teams can be hunted really and kind of put all their focus onto that one loadout drop. So we're hoping Hector's in the clear here. Looks like it's gonna get his weapon. And actually, Hector's gonna get elimination on Dale Denton, is the player's name. So that's, that is a good elimination for the Red Hawk. So again, great job. Looks like JD is back, gonna be back in. So is Noob Slayer. So all four players have used their Gulag. No, no returns now off of the Gulag. You have to be bought back. And I believe CBCC in the lead. I'm not 100% sure. We haven't seen a scoreboard yet. Our 
slurp in a buy station. Oh. Hector, I don't know if he took fall damage or if he took a, if he got shot at there. Actually, look, JD and Noob Slayer have it. They they need to be redeployed. Enemy UAV active. Hector being hunted here. Basically down between Spent Elite and Hector right now. They're gonna get a tag on a player. He's he's being hunted though. Unfortunately, Hector goes down. Okay, let's see the element, the scoreboard situation. It's basically down to Spin Elite. Spin Elite has can buy his teammate back. Not sure if the Red Hawks are. I believe the Red Hawks are up. I'm un unsure at this moment. Yes, five, so it's six to six to two. It's it's gonna come down though to spin elite. If spin elite And revive his teammate, and we're hoping not. And and Spent has the, uh, you know, we talked about the uh, the cosmetic there. He has the flammable skin, as you can see. I, I I did not think that was a smart choice, but he is the last man standing right now. Um, he also doesn't have any armor plates left, with, which is good for CVCC. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's right now six to two. Red Ops in a good spot here. Just hope we're hoping that Noob Slayer does not. Gas uh, is closing. Get to the new safe zone. We're hoping that Noob Slayer does not find a buy station here. And possibly runs into a team. The uh, think they've got themselves enough enough of, enough of a lead here. It's been the lead going to try to. With 69 players left, the circle closing in. Gonna try to play a little bit carefully. So it's really, it's really up to spin elite right now. Well, he is approaching a buy station. Gas is closing in. As you can see at the top right there, or top left, the uh, shopping cart buggy, that is a buy station. He's getting shot at. This is good news for CVCC. Take some more damage. Just trying to get out of dodge. He's going to rotate out of there. And if he gets shot out of there, it's going to be it. And that's ball game. Red Hawks take the first game 6 2. Get shot out of the air. Wow. So Red Hawk's up one nothing here. Well, no, looks like he still has a gulag. I thought I thought he used his gulag. So Spin Elite will have to win this gulag to stay alive. It's over. So it's over. That's that's the final score. Uh, I've been, just been told by Hector that somebody is doing the nuke challenge on this map. So might have been good good lobby again. It's a random lobby to load into. 
The Red Hawks take the first map 6 to 2. I, I was premature on the victory. They take the first map 6 to 2. So we'll. We'll load into our second game here. Red Hawks up on Shelton State. I'm trying to get confirmation. I believe it is the Pirates. They have a pirate looking mascot. No, they are the Bucks. I was close. We, we actually, at CBCC, used to be the Bucks. So, so kind of interesting parallel there. That's Hector and JD up 1-0 in their match against Shelton State 2-0. Taking a look at the um, schedule for next week for Hector and JD, it looks like they will be on a bye. So they'll have a bye week next week before returning to action week five. And they will take on Pueblo Community College that week. So this will this will be the last tough test for a while for Hector and JD. Um, Pueblo at one and two on the season. So it looks like we're searching for a map. So all Hector and JD have to do now is win one more game. And they look like they were working together very well. Um, just heard from Hector. He, he said, I just I don't think we should have died. We, we just got kind of got into a bad situation there. And so um, we'll see if they can get into a little bit better situation this time. Don't let Caleb kill you. Any competitive game will kill you. Just don't kill you. Just realized Mandalorian no. season three just debuted, so I'm excited to watch that. Watch, like, Tonight, probably. Like radio players, they never we'll like, see. Because they got but that's not it's it's game number two between CBCC and Shelton State. Uh, that COD Warzone. The worst thing that happens to radio is usually like... Cody and Colin will load we up here through. in about eight minutes. Of course, the intramural will run in a little bit. Uh, after the open season. Hostiles dropping into the area. Hector on a mission this season wants to win a championship. Has has two opportunities with the COD Warzone and COD 4v4. Has two really good teams. Again, shout out to our partners over here at Red Bull. You see this delicious Red Bull fridge. Um, they provided us with a bunch of Red Bull, so appreciate the folks over there at Red Bull for Hooking our program up. Now we face the enemy for real. As it looks like it is game time. We'll see if uh, Shelton State uh, traded in that skin. Like I said, I would not wear a skin where I'm just on fire. Ghost Rider on fire. And they did, in fact, change the skin. I think that's a that's a good decision. You're bright orange, and you're jumping off of a mountain. That probably probably is going to be an easy target to spot. He, he was on fire and he got burned really bad. Kilo marked. Really bad. This spot looks good. Kilo marked. You got it. Like Hector and JD going for the Zaya Observatory. I think uh, Spent Elite. I believe they're going. They're going as well, maybe. Oh, and unfortunate. Hector's going to get melee. 
Hector immediately recoil. losing his life. That's that's not a good start for CBCC. And the only bad thing is you, you're right off the rip, so it's going to be hard to find a gulag opponent. Well, he has found one. The gulag now, soldiers. This is my world. Let's see if Hector can you're win this. To kill your enemies or stay dead. Hector's gonna get eliminated. Unfortunate there, loses in the gulag. That's that's not a good start for CVCC, but Hector or uh, JD is still alive. Can, can buy uh, Hector back. Gonna ping the buy station. He knows what JD needs to do for him in order for this duo to stay back in it. Unfortunate situation there where Hector just kind of got tailed by a player. He does already have 4,300 in cash, so good start. Again, you run the risk if, if uh, you run the risk in going to these buy stations, though. Sure that nobody is up here. But he is gonna buy JD or Hector back. So Hector back in the game. CBCC duo is back intact. It's a fortunate circumstance there where like I said player just trailed Hector and be advised Intel has located good. multiple strongholds looks like Hector kind of floating around seeing where he needs to go looks like he may try to tail this Shelton State team switch the strategy up a little bit JD is, I believe, quite a bit of ways away. He is all the way on the right on top of the mountain. Now, the good thing about being up high, though, is you can parachute down, but you do run the risk of kind of making yourself a visible target, just as uh, Shelton State did last game, float flying off that mountain trying to get away from some enemy contact. But CVCC in decent shape here. I think it's th still think it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Well, no, Hector has an elim No, Hector did not get elimination too long. I lied, he got bought back. So it's, I still think it's 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm just gonna try to close out a victory here against Shelton State if they can get back together. I don't, it's an interesting split here that Hector's kinda just tailing the two Shelton State players as JD goes down, but he has a self-res all, but unfortunately gets taken down again. So JD now in the gulag. Not a good start for CVCC. But amazingly enough, though, still in it. That's the great thing about Warzone, you still You've got gulags. You've got so many items that can help you. As long as you got one one duo in the fight, you're in good shape. Uh, 
looks like JD might, must have won his gulag. He is back full health again. I believe he won this gulag. That was interesting. He just suddenly appeared. Got cash here. Hector dropping some cash for JD. So they're looting the inside the, inside of these caves. Another buy station. Rifle mark. Weapon up. Your squad mate was sent to the gulag. They'll fight for a chance to the point. I think we're gonna smoke plate off. that player and he is going to down chicken nuggets. I believe he's got a couple of players here that he's trying to deal with. He is going to confirm the kill so that's good. He's going to knock another one. Nucky Johnson. Target marked. Requesting fire mission. Copy that. 3-1 is on station. Strike inbound. Looks like he's going to drop off a cluster strike here. Try to confirm that kill. JD wins his gulag, so Red Hawks have two eliminations. I don't know if Hector confirmed that last one or not. I believe he did. Noob Slayer is going to get an elimination. Or if he's going to get the... Actually, he's going to confirm the kill, I believe, on Nucky Johnson. Friendly loadout drop on the way. Looks like there's cars coming as a oh, good pick there for Hector. It looks like Spent Elite is heading to the gulag now. I believe I believe he got run over by a car. I was looking at the mini map. I think he literally got run over by a car for his elimination. Oh, and Hector being hunted here furiously. JD being hunted. They are no longer with us. Spent Elite loses their gulag, so. Hector sees a couple players. He's trying to figure out what he's want to do, and he's going to get. He's going to get uh, 2v1 there, unfortunate. So now it's down to. Heck, it's five to two right now in favor of the Red Hawks. Spent Elite was bought back by Noob Slayer, looks like, so. Loot over here. Actually, no, I think that's JD. JD is flying around. Trying to get out of Dodge. Spent Elite can be bought back. I think JD still has a gulag, but I'm, 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 I'm uncertain at this point. Red Hawks trying to play this strategically. That's what you want to do. JD pushing out as far as he can to the coast. Again, 5 to 2 Red Hawks right now. They won the first game 6 2. JD is going to grab his loadout. Does not have a lot of money, so he's as it looks like Noob Slayer gonna go down. Oh, and a, there's a big pick. No, Spent Elite goes down. Noob Slayer gonna be in the gulag. JD being hunted still, as Noob Slayer is gonna lose his gulag, and I believe that's ball game. I think that's that's it. I, I both spent elite and noob slayer are both down. I think that's and I think the Red Hawks are up. So if that is the case, then Red Hawks have just won. 
two nil. JD's still being hunted. He's trying to avoid. Oh, a lot of lag there. Yeah, it is six to two. So Red Hawks have indeed won again, six to two. JD though getting a little hungry. Kind of wants to. He wants to get some more. I don't think he has any plates left. He's gonna survive the hunt, which means that's gonna grant him some money. You're safe. You lose. And another pick for CVCC. JD takes down another player. JD just showing off at this point. Because you know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll just get the I get the war zone victory here. Still could revive Hector as well. Bunch of players on Hector uh, JD's level. Just just killed another one. Went for the Hail Mary there. As Catawba Valley gonna take it two to nothing tonight and prove to three and zero on the season in COD Warzone. Enemy GG's to Shelton State, the Buccaneers. Red Hawks victorious. So go ahead and mark in the win. For Catawba Valley, it has been submitted. So that's going to do it for our streams tonight. Uh, again, thanks so much for hopping in, and supporting us. Uh, we'll be back uh, in uh, streaming action tomorrow. Our Valorant team is going to be in action. So is our COD Gunfight team. Uh, both of them going to be trying to compete. Also, Valorant, Valorant Red roster and Valorant Black roster will both be in competition tomorrow. So you won't want to miss it. Be sure to come back, uh, support our stream, support our team. If you're in chat, say hello. Uh, if you're in chat, give us a follow, drop us a sub. Uh, we'd love to uh, have your support. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what funds our program. That's what helps our program grow and continue. So, again, uh, much appreciated. Thanks, thanks again to all of our sponsors. You see them on the screen, Red Fox Gaming. Uh, in Hickory, locally owned video game pop culture store. Go visit them over here in Hickory if you're in the local area. If not, uh, if you're a little bit out, drive in and see them and tell them that the CBCC sports team sent you. Shout out to Corporate Armor, Temprano Tech Vester Company. Appreciate Luke Wall and his team sponsoring our program. And also oh, Respawn, Pro Respawn, exclamation point Respawn, if you need a gaming desk or chair, uh, audio uh, need, equipment need, uh, be sure to buy from them. They're a North Carolina company. Shout out to our partners at Red Bull as well. Again, if you are in our area, uh, April 22nd and 23rd, uh, we would love for you to come to our LAN event, Campus Series LAN event, April 22nd, 23rd. Register now. It'll feature the video games Rocket League, Super Smash Bros., and Valorant. We'd love to have you participate in that. All the proceeds that we get off of that through registration go to help support our program. So in a way, it's a fundraiser, but it's a tournament. It's a fun fundraiser uh, that will help our Red Hawk Esports program and its student athletes. So be sure to join us for the Campus Series LAN event, April 22nd, 23rd, our second annual LAN event here at CBCC. So again, thank you all so much for the love and support. Congratulations to Hector and JD on a 2-0. and We'll keep you posted on how Cody and Colin do tonight. They plan here. Actually, they just started. So good luck to them. Best of luck to those two. Uh, but that's going to do it. So from me, from Coach... Coach, Coach D, from one Coach D to another Coach D. Uh, from Omar, who's in the background looking as well. I see a little wave. Uh, thank y'all so much for the love and support. Y'all take care. We'll see y'all tomorrow for COD, Gunfight, and Valorant. Y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all later. Peace.